Hey guys, this is Jeff with iPhone Download Blog. I want to talk about something today that actually Sebastian just emailed me about this. And he was like, hey, have you checked out this, this tweak Web Leaps? And I'm like, no, I've never actually even heard of it. And I kind of feel silly because, you know, I'm supposed to be up on, you know, all the tweaks. Man. I'm supposed to be up on my tweak game, but apparently I'm slacking a little bit. This one is called Web Leaps. Now, the aim of Web Leaps is to allow you to use shortcut commands to search on your favorite websites. So, for instance, if you want to search Wikipedia for an elephant, just like it says here, you just type W elephant, even either in, you know, the Google search, or you can do it directly from Spotlight. It has direct Spotlight integration, and that's really the nice thing about this. But not only that, but for all you power users out there who like to, you know, get your hands dirty, then you can go in and you can start modifying the property list files and start adding your own search strings. And I actually did that myself. I'm going to show you here the IDB search. Yeah. So I've already installed Web Leaps. You're not going to notice any app icons or anything like that on your home screen, but you will notice a new settings panel in your settings app. Here it is for Web Leaps. Just tap on that and you'll see four settings here. Number one, Spotlight support. That's important because, of course, you know, you can search directly from Spotlight. Then you have completion hints and then you have Safari support as well. Now, first and foremost, let me show you the Safari support. All you do is you open up your Google search here and then and you can see some of your shortcuts are already coming up. Now, you can type, like, for instance, if I want to search on Google, I'll just type G. Well, obviously, it's already the Google, but this is just for an example, people. Come on now. All right, you just type G and then, you know, elephant, if you want to type. You know, search on elephant. Okay, so you just do that, and then you hit search. It's going to pull up your Google search for elephant. Well, if I spell elephant right, but you get the point. You can also do these searches directly from Safari. So if I want to do a wiki search, Wikipedia search, directly from Safari, I just type W space, and then I type, uh, I don't know, Steve Jobs. I think I actually had to put that in quotes, but I could be wrong. No, oh, no, came right up. Okay, so there it is, Steve Jobs. So that's, it's really easy, um, and you can add, like I said, if you're a power user, you can really start you know, getting in here and adding a lot of cool things. Just like it says here in our settings, power users can edit the library slash application support web leaves preset P list to add custom search keywords. And you might have noticed that I did that for iPhone download blog. Okay, so now let's really test out some cool functionality, your own custom search shortcuts. I've created one, I've edited a P list file and all that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up my search bar and if you notice here, you can either type IDB to bring up your keyword search, or you just tap the shortcut right here. So if I just tap I, notice it'll bring up the shortcuts here. So we have IGN and then you have IDB. So I'll just tap IDB, and now I'll just search for whatever. I'll, let's search for package backup. PKG backup. All right, and do a search. And then, bam, first thing that comes up, Package backup tutorial. Oops, kind of. All right, got ahead of myself there. Okay, so there's the package backup tutorial, and that's it, folks. So all the way to dollar ninety nine, Web Leaps is a little pricey on the Cydia store. This is going to be worth it, and it's very powerful for those of you who do a lot of searches. If you're always searching online and you're always searching various sites, by all means, you're going to want to try this out. And also the custom search compatibility where you can go in and make your own search strings, that is really powerful. So, I mean, I'm sure what I just you know touched on was the tip of the iceberg and you can come up with some really cool stuff there if you play around with it enough. So have you tried Web Leaps? What do you think about this? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think this type of functionality is something you would use on a day-to-day -day basis? Let me know in the comment section, folks. This is Jeff with iPhone Download Blog.